Today we have the Sinister Six game from Marvel on this Spider-Man Saturday. Super Superhero Spider-Man Saturday. Sinister Six game. Who are the Sinister Six? They are Rhino, Mysterio, Venom, Craven, Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, Vulture, Sandman, Lizard, and Electro. Why are they the Sinister Six? Well, because they, uh, they're sinister, and there's six of them, and this was originally a GameStop for $29.99, but it was on clearance for $19.97, and, uh, the Sinister Six are, uh, Spider-Man's main villains that he's always had to deal with throughout the comics and movies and books and all that stuff. I mean, Spider-Man has a bunch of other people he deals with on a daily basis working for the Daily Bugle. Not the Daily Planet, that's Superman. But, uh, yeah. So, it's GameStop. GameStop! So, um... Okay, we have a bunch of tokens. Got captured tokens. We have a final battle here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 30 here. And we have even more tokens here. We have like briefcases here. We have one sevens and tens here. We have four sixes and si sixes and sevens here. We have twos, eights and nines here. We have threes, fives and eights here. I'm not sure what all these are about. On the back, these are money. These are photos. These are some kind of cubes. These look like uh, electricity circuits boards. We have the rules here. Um, each we have villain markers. That's pretty cool. There's 60 of them. There's 10 of. There's 10 of each. Um, Sinister Sticks by Daryl Adams and Andrew Adamiscu. Uh, we have heist location cards, spider cards, black market cards, action cards, special action cards, active heist marker, 10 black market tokens, 30 number hexes, 6 turn order tokens, villain markers, 84 loot tokens, and 6 reference cards. I think you play as one of the Sinister Six. I'm not sure. I believe you play as the bad guys in this particular game. And you're supposed to be trying to get away with stuff before the spy, Spidey catches you. Or whatever. Anyway, that's the rules. This is pretty cool that you get all these little tokens. Each represents different... Um, people um, there's different colors which is interesting each character has their own little basically their hands for the different characters have different hands and uh, each Member of the Sinister Six gang has ten different hands. So they got their hands in this stuff. Um, here's some more tokens. They're they're basically hands is what they are, but they're pretty cool. Like you got Dr. Octopus's hands, you got Craven the Hunter with a knife's hands, you got like Vulture's hand, you got like Electra's hand Electro's hand. You got Sandman's hand, which is a fist of rock, and 
got Venom's hand and uh, that's pretty cool. I'll show you those. You got these different locations where you're performing the heists. Because apparently, um, if you have all these superpowers as a villain or a hero, apparently you don't have anything better to do other than just, you know, rob banks and commit crimes and stuff, right? Or try to stop people who commit crimes and stuff. When you use, I mean, if you had superpowers, wouldn't you, like, use the superpowers for the betterment of, I don't know, society or something? Or at least improve your own self? Why would you become a criminal? Matter of fact, why would you become a superhero? Becoming a criminal or a superhero, neither one of them makes much sense, logically speaking, if you became a superhero. If you had superpowers, neither one of them make that much sense. On the grounds, if you had superpowers, you could use that to improve your own life and make money legitimately. Okay, then we got Sinister Six cards here. Let's check those out. Okay, what we have here is we have reference cards. You know, it tells you this is a reference card. So each player gets one of these. It tells you... Tells you cash, intel, resource, tech, black market. They're all, all these are the same. Then you get the black market cards. Got hacker, ninjas, henchmen, bank robbers, shield truck, electrified net, extended claw, explosive truck, night vision, virus infected USB, glass cutter. Fake bills, jetpack, hat camera feed, armored quadcopter, purified adrenaline, electromagnetic pulse, C4, sticky bomb, flash grenades, uh, Centauri blaster, laser beam, huge blaster, hydra rifle, database access, vault blueprints, coughing gas, confidential files, Oscorp tech, Hacked Satellite, Hostages, and Blackmail. Those are the Black Market cards. Then you have the Sinister Six Spider cards. It's Spider-Man! And each Spider-Man has different, like, abilities, it looks like, on the side here. They all say Spider-Man, and most of them are pretty close to the same. Oh, okay, so we have a bunch of Spider-Man now. We have, it's Spider-Gwen. It's Miles Morinus. So that's the spider cards. Then we have the eight Sinister Six villains. Eight, you say, but isn't there only supposed to be six? Sinister Sixes? Yeah, but actually there's eight Sinister Six villains. So shouldn't it be the Sinister Eight? Yes, it technically should be. But it's not. Why? Don't ask me. I guess up to six people can play. Or whatever. At least six of these have to be picked. You got Dr. Octopus's card. He has tentacle grab, metal talons, octo harness, octobots, tentacle grab, and a tech expert. They're pretty cool because they all have these nice little artwork. We got Sandman, transmit into sand, sandstorm, sledgehammer, sandblast, shifting sands, natural, natural resource. And they also have special abilities, depending on how, what you use the card for. Pretty sure the rules tell you what the different abilities get. You got Lizard. He has Science, Reflex and Leaping, Tail Attack, Telepathic Control over Reptiles, Arm Growth, and Research.
Then you got the green goblin, but you don't have the hobgoblin? Not fair. Goblin glider, heat seeking smart missile, pumpkin bombs, Oscar tech, goblin blast, scene green. Then you got Venom. We are Venom. Symbiote voice, genetic memory, morphin Venom, replicate web ceiling, brute strength, spider sense loss. Then you got Rhino! Throw tank, rhino horn, pure rage, crash, power charge, speed burst. So you got some nice little art on the cards. Then you got Craven the Hunter. Super Strength. Two Leopard Attack. Shrackling. Jungle. Jungle Potion. Jungle Potion. Uh, jungle Potion. Sniper and Hunter. Then you got Mysterio. Hallucinogenic Gas. Smoke Leap. Hypnotize. Arnold Attack. 3D Illusion and Conjure. Then you got Vulture, Vulture Exosuit, Acid Spit, Feather Blades, Advanced Weapon Technology, Swoop, Maneuver, Bird's Eye View. Then you got Electro, Shocker's Gauntlet, Electro Bolt, Lightning Arcs, Supercharged, Shock Spidey, Double Shock. So that's all the cards. That's all the cards. And everything should fit back into the box just nicely because you got these little things. You got this place to put cards. You know. Shit will fit. Yeah, it all fits. That's good. Now, the only problem I have with that is this stuff, even though it fits, because there's no seal you know that covers it all this stuff when you shake the box around or move the box around is going to fall out and go all over the place so i like to just get additional little bags and put everything in the additional little bags that's just me and i really don't really use these that much some people do others don't i just put everything in bags and Voila. That's just how I roll. Oh yeah, I, thought I said I was going to show you all the little pieces here. Dr. Octopus's hand. Vulture's hand. Sandman's hand. Um, green, green Goblin's hand, even though it's purple. That one probably should be green. Venom's hand. Craven's hand. Not sure who this purple hand is supposed to be. I'm not sure who the fist is supposed to be. Oh, fist is Rhino. So, who is this one? Oh, the purple hand is Mysterio. Okay. So each one... Oh, wait. And yellow hand is Electro. Electro.
And the green hand is lizards. Okay, I'm counting. Counting ten hands here for ten characters. Do all ten have cards? One Electra, Electro, two Vulture, three Mysterio, four Craven, five Rhino. Six Venom, seven Green Goblin, eight Lizard, nine Sandman, and uh, ten Doctor Octopus. Okay, so it's called Sinister Six, but it has ten. My bad. Correction on that eight. Um, I don't know why I said eight, but okay. So there's six of each hand, not ten of each hand. That would be sixty. Okay, anyway, that's cool. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. There's also available Five Minute Marvel. I don't have that one. Also available is Hail Hydra. I do have that one. I did a review of it. Also available is Wakanda Forever. I don't have that one yet. If I get it, I will do a review of those other two. Um, I don't know why it's called Sinister Six when it comes with ten people characters but I guess only six are allowed to play or up to six which kind of sucks because you got ten but I suppose maybe you could play with ten players I don't know if you could or not you might need a second set you know, for pieces or something to be able to do that. But, yeah. You might need a second set for pieces to be able to do that. But it might be possible. Anyway... That's the game. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. It shows you the main Sinister Six on the front. But it does come with his top ten villains. Which it shows you on the back. So I guess you can mix and match. And make your own... Sinister Six team. That's the game. Laters. Guys and girls. Game on. Collect on. Spidey on. Superhero on. Sinister Six on. And all that good stuff. These hands are pretty cool. I like the hands. I like the hand pieces. Now, if I had a whole lot more, I could make like a 10 player risk game with just these hand pieces. You know, each player would have, you know, the hands. But as it stands, I only got three, four, five. As it stands, you only get. You only get like six hands each person so that won't work very well now it's possible I could use these hands as like leader pieces for a risk type game you know like add these as you know 
extra leader pieces or something. Maybe somehow add them to the Marvel Cinematic Universe Risk game to make where there's like bad guys on the board that the good guys have to, you know, deal with too. I don't know, something of that nature. Like, you know, customize, make a customizable game with the pieces. Anyway, have a great day. Laters, guys and girls. Press stop, stupid. I